So the first part of 1.6 has some funny language inside that box. The quotient a divided by b, or a over b, where b is not equal to zero because we can't divide by zero ever, is that unique real number c for which a is equal to b times c. Blech. I don't like the language. Too arbitrary. Let's do an example and you'll see what we're trying to say. So, basically that just gives us a check to make sure that we've divided correctly. So we all know this, 6 divided by 3, we could rewrite it as 6 over 3. It's equivalent to 2. So we're asking, does 2 times 3 equal 6? Does it really hold true? Yeah, it does. Alright. So, B. Hopefully you can see the pattern now. Negative 32 divided by negative 4. Negative divided by negative will give us a positive. 8 in this case. So, we're asking, does 8 times negative 4 equal negative 32? Does 8 times negative 4 really equal negative 32? Yeah, it does. So, we have a check basically, to see if we've done division correctly. What about for that next one? 17 divided by 0. Can we ever divide by 0? No, that can't happen. Because, for example, if this was equal to 0, let's just pretend that we think this is a solution. Is 0 times 0 equal to 17? No, that's not true. So this is undefined. Whenever we divide by zero, it's undefined. We can never do that. Can't divide by zero. And if you think you've made a mistake, if you think it's equal to zero, check. Is zero times zero equal to 17? No, it's not true. All right. So to multiply or divide two real numbers, where the divisor, the thing on the bottom, is not zero, what has to happen? Multiply or divide the absolute values, so just work with the numbers on their own, and then decide what the sign should be. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Positive divided by a positive is still positive. Negative divided by a negative gives us a positive. If they're opposites, a plus and a minus, we get out a minus. All right, and again, division by zero is not defined. And you can check, make sure that you've written it correctly. But what do we want to know? What is zero divided by eight? Is that defined? What's it equal to? Zero divided by anything is zero. Is that defined? Is that legit? So let's ask. Zero times... 8, is that equal to 0? Yep, that's true. So again, division by 0, not possible, it's undefined. But 0 divided by something, we always get 0 out. So, take those few tries, divide if possible. If not, tell me why not. Alright, what did you get for that first one? 0 divided by negative 26 is always going to be Zero, because we can ask, is zero times negative 26? Zero. Mm -hmm. What about part B? Again, zero divided by anything is zero, because we can ask, zero times 13, is that equal to zero? Mm -hmm. And then what about C? Is that one defined? No, we can never divide by zero. Undefined. Good. 